Carbon Engineering is a Canadian-based clean energy company focusing on the commercialization of direct air capture technology that captures carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere. This captured CO2 can either be stored underground or converted into carbon-neutral fuel using renewable energy sources, by a process the company calls air-to-fuels. From a pilot plant in Squamish, BC, CE has been removing CO2 from the atmosphere since 2015 and converting it into fuels since December, 2017. The company was founded in 2009 by David Keith, now a professor of public policy and applied physics at Harvard University, and is now led by Steve Oldham, former senior vice president of strategic business development at McDonald, Detweiler & Associates. Carbon Engineering is funded by several government and sustainability-focused agencies as well as by private investors, including Microsoft founder Bill Gates and Oil Sands financier N. Murray Edwards. In addition, around 2019 the company received US$68 million from fossil fuel companies Chevron, Occidental, and BHP. Technology Carbon Engineering's DAC system integrates two main cycles. The first cycle is the absorption of CO2 from the atmosphere in a device called an air contactor using an alkaline hydroxide solution. The second cycle regenerates the capture liquid used in the air contactor and delivers pure CO2 as an end product. These cycles operate in tandem continuously, producing a concentrated stream of CO2 gas as an output, and requiring only energy, water, and small material make up streams as inputs. Energy is used in such a way that no new CO2 emissions are incurred, and thus do not counteract what was captured from the air. The captured atmospheric CO2 can be stored underground, used for enhanced oil recovery, or turned into low carbon synthetic fuels using the company's air to fuels technology. CE's air to fuels process can produce fuels such as gasoline, diesel, or jet using inputs of atmospheric CO2, water, and renewable electricity such as that from solar PV. Electricity is used to split water and manufacture hydrogen, which is then combined with captured atmospheric CO2 to form fuels. This approach offers a means to deliver clean fuels that are compatible with existing engines, and can help decarbonize the transportation sector by displacing fuels made from crude oil. <laughs> Pilot plant demonstration. In 2015, Carbon Engineering started operations of its full end-to-end -end pilot plant, located in Squamish, BC. When running, this facility captures roughly one ton of atmospheric CO2 per day. In 2017, CE incorporated fuel synthesis capability into the DAC pilot plant and converted CO2 into fuel for the first time in December, 2017. Based on the data obtained from the pilot plant, David Keith and Carbon Engineering published a manuscript on June 7, 2018 that presents a simulation suggesting that CO2 can be captured from the atmosphere at a cost of $94 to $233 United States dollars per ton d depending on financial assumptions, energy costs, and the specific choice of inputs and outputs. The manuscript, titled a process for capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere", was published in the journal Joule. Both DAC and AIR to FUELSTM technologies have been proven at CE's pilot plant and are now being scaled up into commercial markets. Individual DAC facilities can be built to capture 1 million tons of CO2 per year. At that scale, one carbon engineering air capture plant could negate the emissions from approximately 250,000 cars, either by sequestering the CO2 or by using the recycled carbon dioxide as a feedstock to produce synthetic fuel. 